Hey friends! I'm back with another plan with me. This is for September 27th through October 3rd. We are officially into October with this week, which is kind of awesome. I love September. I really love October. It's my birthday this month and also it's Halloween. Right after Halloween we get into Thanksgiving and then of course Christmas. It's just one fun festive thing after the other this time of year. So very very excited for this week. Something that's happening this October that doesn't happen every year is October 1st. It is the 50th anniversary of the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. This is another one of those things that obviously in my mind, right? I was going to definitely be at the park celebrating that day because if you know me, if you've been following my channel, you know that we love Disney World in this household and we used to go to Disney World four or five times a year. We're local-ish, so we've always been annual pass holders. And so obviously we were gonna be at our favorite place on the planet when it celebrated such a big milestone birthday. But alas, COVID. So we actually haven't been to Disney World since December of 2019, and we have no immediate plans to return. Very, very sad, but all the same, we are going to celebrate in our own way. And for me, that usually means decorating my planner. It's also the anniversary of the opening of Epcot. People don't talk about that as much, and it might be because Epcot is not having a milestone birthday this year, but um, they did both open on October 1st, just in different years. Little bit of a trivia there for you. So of course, the best way to celebrate is with a festive kit. And this kit that I'm using is from the Planner Shack. It's called Anniversary Magic, of course it is. And it is very much Disney World themed. Lots of pretty pastels, but it does have some anniversary type details thrown in here and there. And as usual, I did the crop method, which means that this kit comes with loads and loads more stickers than the ones you're gonna see, but I only printed the ones that I was pretty sure I was gonna use because that way I wouldn't waste any extra ink or paper than necessary. So. Let me show you what I'm working with. First off, we have full boxes, habit trackers, and a couple of half boxes. This sidebar sticker, or this full box, I should say, is gonna go in my sidebar. And then all of these YouTube stickers, I'm not sure why I printed so many. I probably forgot to print them in some other week, so I made up for it here. But these are actually not from the Planner Shack. These are beautiful planning stickers. So I use them every single week. I like to include a YouTube upload schedule in all of my plan with me's. So this will not be in that kit. You'd have to buy that separately from Beautiful Planning if you want it. On the next page, we have a lot of deco here. We have our weekend banner, our date covers, and then our dates down here. Canceled and rescheduled stickers, though I'm probably not gonna use any this week because we are on staycation currently. So those are just there in case I need them, but chances are I'll end up using them in other weeks to come. We have our pastel glittery headers right here. We have some quarter boxes. And lastly, we have loads and loads more deco, and we have our bottom washi, which is usually where I like to start. I'm sure there's a reason why I did so much deco. I'm willing to bet that there, oh, that's what it is, is that last week I was supposed to use a kit from a different shop, and it's a shop that has kind of a reputation for having a really hard time with the deco as far as getting it to cut and print appropriately. So since I wasn't anticipating using that deco, I printed out extra deco so that I could use it in that kit because it was also a Disney themed kit. Turns out there were so many things wrong with that kit that I ended up just completely switching gears and using an entirely different kit from an entirely different shop. So if you wanna see last week's plan with me, I'll post that up here. But yeah, I guess that explains why I have so much deco is because I cut and print enough for two weeks worth. So. All that being said, let's go ahead and start the planning. This is so, so, so cute. All of this here, what does it say? Oh, see, there you go. So there's one of those little details. Hoping that you guys are seeing that right. There's one of those pins right there, and they like to give you pins at the guest services when you walk into any park. They have ones that are like 
celebrating something special and then you would write happy anniversary or happy graduation or whatever they've also got birthday pins and so on first visit pins so they went and made art here that just says 50th anniversary so that's super cute there's another one right here in a different color so that's really fun how they're finding ways to incorporate the anniversary into what otherwise would be a regular old Disney kit even though I feel like all Disney kids are special but I also know that I am very biased as a Disney kid that grew into a full-fledged Disney adult this went down super crooked but I'm also really worried that I'm gonna hurt it if I peel it up so I'm just gonna leave it alone right there let's see next we're gonna do the sidebar and kind of having a little bit hmm a little bit of a conundrum because usually these are a little too long for me and so I'll cover up the top with my habit trackers but I would rather cover the bottom than the top only problem is I don't know how much space I'm gonna need exactly so I'm gonna have to guesstimate but I'm gonna pull this up a little bit I'm gonna put this kind of like that all right and then I'm going to put my habit trackers, instead of covering the castle, I'm just going to go ahead and layer them up here and hope for the best. By which I mean, hope I have enough space at the top for one of these full boxes like I usually do. I'm a little worried that I won't at this point. I think I'm going to have to stick to just three habit trackers so I have enough space. And let me see, who do I want to pick? Maybe this one. I really like this that has like the map. If you've ever been to Disney World, these little like brochure type things are what the maps look like at all the parks. And they always have the park icon on the front. So like Epcot will have the Epcot ball and Animal Kingdom will have the Tree of Life. But this is meant to be Magic Kingdom. So it has Cinderella's Castle. And we have one of those 50th anniversary pins there. That's really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put that. Actually, I think I do have space for that last habit tracker. And put that there. I will regret this maybe potentially. Have I got the room? Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. Relax. Everything's fine. <laughs> she said to herself anxiously. Yeah, that's good. That just barely made it. All right, perfect. So next I'm going to go ahead and put down my dates on these date covers. <laughs> keeping in mind that September only has 30 days so that I don't put down 31 because I don't need it. And once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and put my date covers in the book. Okay, so that's all done. Oh, I should put down, yeah, let me put down my weekend banner before I forget. Although, I mean, you know what, actually, <laughs> this is not, not the usual at all, but I'm going to go ahead and put the weekend banner right over here, because guess what? The whole week is a weekend, baby, because we're on staycation. I know I'm being obnoxious, but I get literally like 10 days off in the entire year, like actually in the entire calendar year. We don't get winter break, we don't get summer break, we don't get spring break, none of that. So I am just kind of doing my best to soak in all of this vacation this while I've got it. So let me put down these glitter headers and I'll meet you back here in a second. All right, so everything is pretty and pastel. Very, very cute. 
me see what else do we have for the week we don't really have too much honestly left to go i'm gonna put down my full boxes you guys know i like to space out the fashion girls because i don't like for stickers that are very similar to ever be too close together uh speaking of which we have a lot of like outfit type pictures here so i'm gonna make sure to put one on this page and one further down here so 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 cute oh it even says here established 1971 perfect see this is really cute i feel like every time i really look at the art there's a new detail a new special something that i'd missed so it's like little surprises in every corner right let's put i guess we'll put it here and this one can go up here very very pretty very nice okay so that's pretty much it there's no birthdays this week i don't even think there's any birthdays next week to be honest which is weird because typically this time of year we've got loads of birthdays like every single week so what we do have though is videos because even though i'm on staycation i pre-recorded a bunch of stuff so that you guys would have plenty of content even in my absence of course today you're watching this plan with me right tomorrow tomorrow you typically would have gotten a vlog but that's not happening this week because i'm not vlogging during this vacation so no new video on tuesday but on wednesday there's going to be a what i eat in the day video which i haven't done in a long time but i figured that now since i'm not really doing keto i'm doing more like paleo type eating always gluten and dairy free because i don't deviate from that ever but i'm trying to lean more into like whole ingredients less artificial things less processed things so i thought it was a good time to do a what i eat in a day because like i said it's been a bit on friday there's a collab that i'm super excited about it's a halloween movie night collab i think that's the title <laughs> but basically a bunch of us are getting together and either making recipes or just like collecting treats but we're kind of banking a themed thing of like a halloween movie a spooky time movie etc and then treats that go along with that movie's theme or vibe if you will and by the way if you're a fan of that sort of thing of like dinner and a movie type things i'll post a link up here to a playlist i have that's a disney homeschool playlist obviously it is a homeschool playlist so there's lots of like art activities sensory activities etc but one of the things that we do every week is a cooking activity as part of our life skills curriculum so these are all videos that i do homeschooling with a disney twist we always follow a movie or a character or even a disney ride and along with that we make a recipe that's either something that they eat in the movie or something that those characters in that place and time would have eaten typically and so on so again if you're interested in watching a movie and eating something that makes sense to go along with that movie from a themed perspective that playlist is a great place to start for disney type things or you can wait for friday and get a halloweeny vibe and then lastly, on Saturday, you're going to get a Dia and Co video, which is another one that I haven't done in a while. So that's a plus size clothing video. And I like to do a try on and kind of weigh in with you guys what I should keep, what I shouldn't keep, what I've decided to keep and what you guys think of that, etc. So if that's something that interests you, by all means, come on back. But that's gonna be it for this week. So even though I'm on staycation, y'all are still getting four uploads from me this week. I'm obsessed with this kit. I only wish I could be there. But from what I'm hearing, the crowds are already kind of just wow. <laughs> like way more than I'm comfortable with for the situation that we're in. And there's no way to get reservations to like any parks this weekend anymore. So if you're going, I'd love to hear from you what you're most excited to see when you come back from your trip tell me all about it i'd love to live vicariously through you even better if you're planning to vlog it or something let me know that too so i can check out your channel but yeah that's my week i want to thank you all so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it if you did i hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up i'd also love it if you'd subscribe and click that notification bell because i post at least three times a week and i wouldn't want you to miss a minute
Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!